So let's talk about Medicare Advantage plans today. A Medicare Advantage plan is another way to get your Medicare Part A and your Medicare Part B benefits. Medicare Advantage plans are also called Medicare Part C. Again, so you have Medicare Part A, which covers your hospitals, Medicare Part B, which covers the doctors. Uh, for most people, that's uh, for 2023, the premium they pay is $164.90. Uh, part A for most people is free. Um, and Part C are the Medicare Advantage plans, uh, also called MA plans, uh, Medicare Part C. Um, we'll, we'll talk about uh, exactly what they cover, how much they cost and everything today. And then you've got Medicare Part D as in dog. Those are the prescription drug plans and those are separate plans uh, available through private companies as is Medicare Advantage plans. So Part A and Part B, you go through the Social Security Administration and you sign up for Part A and Part B. Part C and Part D, those are the plans that you get through Medicare insurance agents or contact the companies, uh, the particular companies yourself after doing your research. And there are also Medicare supplement plans. And uh, I'm going to do another video on those, but today we'll stick with uh, Medicare Advantage plans, um, how to sign up for them and uh, when to sign up for them and how to choose the best plan for you. One of the benefits of Medicare Advantage plans is they often come with benefits, original Medicare, that is a Medicare Part A and Part B do not cover. Step back a bit to why do people get um, anything beyond Medicare Part A and Part B? Well, there are many gaps in original Medicare, that is Medicare uh, Part A and Part B. Um, the most important of which, the biggest gap is Part B. That's the, uh, the, the, the medical part. Uh, part A is the hospital. Part B is medical, outpatient, uh, any, your doctors. So if your doctor charges you $100,000 for some type of operation, let's say $10,000, $100,000, under Medicare Part B, if that's all you have, you have to pay 20% of that. So if you have a $100,000 bill, you have to be out of pocket for $20,000. There is no cap in how much out of pocket you have to pay. So that's why a lot of people get something to add on, to wrap around Medicare Part A and Part B. Obviously, uh, Medicare Part A and Part B doesn't cover uh, prescription drugs for the most part, unless you're given prescription drug in the hospital. Um, that's what Part D is for. So if you're looking for a Part D plan, give us a call. And we can uh, uh, find a Part D plan in your area. Vision benefits, dental benefits, uh, fitness benefits, uh, gym membership. Uh, there's a whole array of benefits that private insurance, Medicare insurance companies provide. It's again, it's based on your particular area. All the companies um, tailor their particular Medicare Advantage plans to particular areas. So you just uh, go into Medicare.gov or you give us a call. And uh, um, the most important thing about looking for a Medicare Advantage plan is that whatever plan you choose covers the doctors you want to go to. And then number two is your prescriptions, that you're saving the most for your prescriptions. So you sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan. And when can you sign up? Um, the big enrollment period is from October 15th to December 7th. So that's called the annual enrollment period, but there are many, many other enrollment periods as well. There is another one from January 1st to March 31st. There are special enrollment periods. If you just uh, got onto Medicare Part B at your 65th birthday, or you stopped working, there's a special enrollment period there. If you just moved to a new area, there's another special enrollment period there because again, you're, it's based on your particular area. So if you move from one state or one county to another one and your previous Medicare Advantage plan doesn't cover your new area, then you'll need to switch your, your plan. Um, and then there's a bunch of uh, different uh, special enrollment periods based on uh, disasters, fires and floods and uh, all kinds of different thing that the, uh, the government has determined Medicare, uh, Medicare services is just determined that, okay, this deserves a special enrollment period for the people that live in this particular area because they couldn't get, uh, to, 
um, pick a Medicare Advantage plan in a particular time. So we'll give them a special enrollment period. So, so there's a whole bunch of special enrollment periods. Um, give us a call. And uh, if you're looking to change your Medicare Advantage plan, give us a call and we can uh, see if there is a special enrollment period for you um, so we can uh, um, change your, your plan and see if there's anything better for you. Okay, so that's how you enroll and when you enroll, again, you, you, you enroll going through Medicare.gov or you uh, um, employ the services of a Medicare insurance agent. There are thousands of Medicare insurance agents throughout the country, um, but uh, I guess we're a little bit partial, but uh, we think we provide more services than any other agent in the country because we are former Social Security employees. I was the district manager of the third busiest office in the country. So what we provide to our clients that no other Medicare insurance agent that I know of can provide is decades of inside of experience, inside experience, helping hundreds of thousands of people navigate not only Medicare Part A and Part B, but retirement benefits, survivor benefits, uh, spousal benefits, auxiliary benefits, disability. So not only do you get assistance with Medicare Part C and Part D, the private plans, but you get assistance with everything else. Those are the extra benefits and the extra services we provide to our clients that uh, um, our experience and expertise is unique. Please be careful of others out there claiming to be Social Security experts after attending a two-day online workshop um, and getting a cute little certificate that says they're experts in Social Security. I've seen too many cases of people getting advice from people that shouldn't have been giving advice and they've lost benefits and they've lost money. So call Social Security directly if you have a question about Social Security um, or give us a call. We have decades of experience and uh, unlike Social Security employees, uh, we can give you the little tips, tricks and secrets um, to make your life easier and uh, to make sure you're getting all the benefits you can all the, the secrets that we couldn't tell you when we worked at Social Security, now we're able to kind of divulge because we're no longer form, we're no longer active employees. So we're all retired. All right. So how do Medicare Advantage plans work? And they go over your Medicare Part A and your Part B benefits. So you have to get all your, your health coverage through the particular plan you choose. And they'll send you a... Uh, uh, whoever, whichever private company you choose that's best for you, again, that has your doctors and your prescriptions and everything, it's the best deal for you. You get the most benefits, the least cost. That's the plan you choose. And then they, that particular company will send you a member ID card. And then when you go to your doctor, you show them that member ID card. You don't necessarily show them your Medicare card. You show them the particular ACME Medicare Advantage plan card. And uh, one of the, the, the reasons people don't like Medicare Advantage plans is they often have HMO, there's limited networks. With Medicare, original Medicare, you can go to any doctor in the country that takes Medicare. So if you're in Dallas, Texas, and you know you wanna go to a, a doctor in Chicago, as long as that person takes Medicare, you don't need any referrals or anything like that, you just go, easy. With a Medicare Advantage plan, there's limitations. So you have HMOs, a health maintenance organization. So that's uh, um, so that is a network. An HMO is a network of particular doctors that the insurance company you choose have contracted with to take their patients to accept and cover their patients. So when you have a Medicare Advantage and it's HMO type of Medicare Advantage, you have to stay in network. So some people don't like staying in network and getting referrals and stuff like that. I, you know, um, I've, even when I work for Social Security Administration, um, the federal health insurance I had was all HMO. I guess uh, when I was a Sergeant in the Marine Corps, I guess I had an HMO as well. It was called sick bay. So you went to, uh, yeah. So I guess even the, in the military, you have a kind of an HMO. But anyway, so and then you also have Medicare Advantages have HMOs and they also have PPOs. And a PPO is just basically kind of an HMO with a larger network. So you usually pay a little bit more money um, if you go outside of the network and go to a PPO, um, you know, out of network provider. So if you want to save money, if, if that's what you're looking for, then, you know, a Medicare Advantage HMO is uh, probably the best bet. 
um, if you uh, if you want to save money and uh, you know you're looking uh, for cost savings. And remember, uh, Medicare Advantage plans you can change every year. So this is one of the things that people don't understand that uh, they often lose money and uh, um, benefits because of it. They get into a Medicare Advantage plan and they love it and it's awesome and it covers all their doctors and all their prescriptions and they've got the gym membership and everything is beautiful. Come around October, November, December, again, that is the annual enrollment period. Um, you can actually change your Medicare Advantage plan at that time and people say, well, I'm happy with the current one. I'm happy with my current company. Again, that's fine, beautiful, awesome. But what a lot of people don't know is that your particular company, let's say it's Acme Medicare. I don't think there's any Acme Medicare company, so I'm not giving out any actual names. I don't think there's Acme Medicare companies in the United States. So let's go with Acme. Um, if there's an Acme, I apologize. Um, Acme Medicare Insurance Company. In your particular area, let's say you're in Tupelo, Mississippi, and you have Acme Medicare Insurance Company, and you're happy with it, it's got all your doctors, everything like that. But what a lot of people don't understand is Acme probably has two, three, four plans. And because of the competition throughout the country, Acme is completing, competing with other companies to give the most benefits and the most cost savings. So you have this plan, Acme, it's the, the Acme Plus plan, and it's awesome. But in October, Acme comes out with the Acme Plus Plus plan, and it's even more cost savings and more benefits. Um, but you're happy with this one. But this one also has your doctors and your prescriptions, but there's just more benefits and more cost savings to it. So it's always good every year to check um, to see if there's a better plan that in, in your particular company that you're with or another company is, you know, just, uh, you know, um, really knocking out of the park and trying to provide as, as many benefits and cost savings. Again, it's a competition amongst uh, Medicare Advantage companies throughout the uh, the country. So it's important to for you to take advantage of that to save money and uh, get all the benefits uh, you uh, essentially paid for. Where does all this money come from? The, all the money comes from Medicare. All the money comes from Medicare. Where does Medicare money come from? It comes from all of the decades you worked and paid into FICA taxes. Again, FICA includes your Social Security and also includes your Medicare taxes. So you paid into the Medicare system for decades. You're, if you're currently working, you're still paying into Medicare. And that money is designated by the federal government. And if you sign up for a Medicare Advantage plan, the, the federal government allocates that money to your Medicare Advantage plan. So it's essentially your money. So if you go from one plan to another, that's, you know, that's money that you paid into the system. You go from one company to another, that's money you paid into the system. So I always tell my clients that, you know, you have a job now, you know, you might be retired. That's awesome, beautiful. But your, your job, your new job now in retirement is to make sure you get all the money back you paid into the system for all those decades. Um, that includes Social Security, that includes, you know, survivor benefits, spousal benefits, retirement, and Medicare Part A, Part B, Part C, Part D, all of it. So um, if you want us to help you, make sure you get all the benefits. Absolutely. Give us a call 888-817-0446 or keep watching our videos, uh, subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, Medicare Advantage plans, they're also bundled. So we, uh, most of them are bundled. That is, you get Medicare Part C. Again, that's the Medicare Advantage plan. But you also get Medicare Part D, the prescription drug plans, and a lot of these. Some of these don't have the, the prescription drug plans. Um, I usually, uh, the, the ones without a prescription drug plans, um, I usually uh, get uh, veterans to enroll in those because they have prescription drug benefits through the VA. But for, for most people that don't have those VA benefits, um, or other prescription drug benefits, um, they sign up for a Part C that is bundled with a Part D. So you get Medicare Advantage and you also get the prescription drug coverage in there together. That's why it's important 
when you choose a Medicare Advantage plan, you tell the person that you're enrolling that, okay, here's all my doctors and here are, here's all my prescriptions because you will get drug coverage through that particular plan and you want to make sure you pick a plan that covers all your prescriptions and for the least cost. And one of the key things of that is, again, working for Social Security Administration for a couple of decades, is to make sure if you're qualified, if you're eligible, um, I'll, I've got a video on this, it's called the Extra Help with Prescription Drugs, Low Income Subsidy, you apply through Social Security Administration. It's uh, about 20, uh, under about $25,000 income. There's also a resource limit. If you're struggling to pay for your prescription drugs, make sure you call Social Security Administration 1-800-772-1213 and sign up for the extra help with your prescription drugs. Um, I've taken tens of thousands of those applications. It's, they're, it's probably the easiest application at, at Social Security. Uh, one of the key things of the extra help with the prescription drugs, if you don't qualify this year, 2023, Make sure you apply again in 2024. Recently signed Inflation Reduction Act has increased the threshold, the income threshold to qualify for that low income sub subsidy, that low income subsidy, that extra help. So if you don't qualify this year because you're a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, seven, ten thousand dollars over, apply again next year. Even if you don't need the prescription drug help at this particular moment, if something happens next month or next year, and the doctor gives you some prescription that's crazy expensive, you will have that extra coverage waiting there for you. And another point, trying to save you money as much as possible, as always, that's, that's my, my new mission in life now that I'm retired from Social Security, um, is if you're struggling to pay for your Medicare Part B premium, that $164.90, which is for 2023, then most states have this Medicare savings program and you call the your your medicaid office department of welfare medical in california you call them up and you say hey i'm struggling to pay my part b premium would you pay that for me and uh, depending on a particular state and their income and resource threshold they just might pay for your medicare part b premium and if they pay for your Part B premium, they might give you some other benefits as well. You know, take care of your co-pays and your co-insurance, your co-payments. Um, and when that happens, you will be eligible for a different type of Medicare Advantage plan. They're called dual plans. Dual plan is basically for people dual. That is, they, they have Medicare and Medicaid because you can't have both. So um, if you're, you're low income and you're struggling, make sure you call um, you can call us and we can walk you through the process. Um, we can direct you, um, help you out. But you can conceivably receive Medicare Part A, Part B, Part C, Part D, um, the extra help from Social Security. You can receive Medicaid. Um, yeah, so you could have a whole bunch of private and public uh, organizations helping you with your um, your Medicare and your medical coverage and your doctors and your prescriptions and all the rest of it. So again, this is, uh, what, uh, most people pay into, you know, social security and, uh, uh Medicare for all their lives. And these are benefits, uh, that, uh, that, uh, you're entitled to if, uh, if you're eligible for those benefits, uh, you are entitled to them. And all you have to do is file and, uh, we can help you with, uh, with the entire bureaucratic process because we've done it, uh, more than, all the other YouTubers out there that say they're social security and Medicare experts. We've actually taken hundreds of thousands of all these applications and helped hundreds of thousands of people out throughout the country. So, uh, we know how the system works officially and how the system actually kind of works on a day to day basis. And so we can help you with all the, um, the bureaucratic hurdles you will inevitably encounter. A lot of people confuse, um, this with what's called a Medicare supplement plan, also called Medigap. So I, there's a, there's another video on this channel about a Medicare supplement plan. So those are the ones that, you know, Medicare plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there's 10 different plans and they're all 
standard throughout the country. Um, so, but a Medicare supplement or also called a Medigap plan is a traditional kind of insurance. So again, you will still have part A and you'll still have part B. You have to have those to get a Medicare Advantage plan. You have to have those to get a Medicare supplement plan. But a Medicare supplement plan it basically just covers that other extra 20%. There are no extra benefits, no vision benefits, no dental benefits, no hearing benefits. It just, if you go to the doctor and they charge you, the doctor charges you $100,000, the uh, original Medicare will pay $80,000 and whatever company, Acme, Medicare supplement plan, they will pay the other 20%. And that's it. Um, there's, you'll also need a prescription drug plan with that because it doesn't cover the prescription drugs. So you'll need a separate prescription drug plan. And a lot of people like the Medicare supplement plans because of the freedom. You can go to, you can still go to any doctors and there's no HMOs, there's no PPOs, there's no referrals. You can go to any Medicare uh, provider that you want. Um, why do people choose a Medicare Advantage plan then? Again, all the extra benefits, plus, plus a lot of the Medicare Advantage plans are zero premiums. Medicare supplement plans, depending on your age and whether you smoke in your particular area, um, it could be $100, $125, $200 um, per month premium, above and beyond Medicare Part B. So again, 2023 Medicare Part B premium is $164.90. So if you get a Medicare supplement plan, extra $100, $125, whatever the case may be. So you're paying, you know, and then you have to get a Medicare uh, Part D, a prescription drug plan. Those are, you know, $25, $30, $40 or so. So uh, if price is a factor, um, a lot of people go with the Medicare Advantage plans. If uh, price is not necessarily a factor, or if you crunch the numbers and we can help you do that, determine whether actually a Medicare supplement plan is best for you because of how much you travel and uh, your, uh, your healthcare needs. Um, for some people, it is better to sign up for a Medicare supplement plan. So there is no one solution fits everybody. Um, that includes Medicare Advantage plans, choosing a Medicare Advantage plan just because your next door neighbor, your brother, your cousin loves this particular company. It might not be for you. It might not cover doctors. It might not cover your particular health needs. So just because a particular company is referred by a friend might be that might be the perfect plan for that particular friend, but it might not be the particular plan for you. That's why it's important to get um to get help choosing a particular plan for you. And probably one of the most important thing is to remember that uh, this is no cost to you. All Medicare insurance agents throughout the country, if they set you up with the Medicare Advantage plan, you don't pay them anything. Whatever company you, uh, you, you decide to enroll, same with us. If, we, if you decide you want us to help you find a Medicare Advantage plan, a prescription drug plan, and Medicare supplement plan, the companies pay us directly. So that is the same with every Medicare insurance agent in the country, except that every other Medicare insurance agent in the country, pretty much they forget about you after that. And they might send you a, a birthday email or something. We're not good on birthday emails, so sorry. Um, but if you have, if you're one of our clients, next week, next month, your friends, family have a question about the uh, social security, retirement, disability, whatever, take advantage of our decades of experience. You call us up, tell them to call us up and uh, we can walk them through whatever bureaucratic uh, nightmare they're dealing with. And all they have to do is, uh, hey, um, Joe is one of your clients. You signed him up for Acme Medicare Advantage plan last month. Um, I'm his brother and uh, I've got this problem with social security. Oh, Joe, yeah, okay, yeah, remember him. All right, what you got? And we'll help him out. Um, just like uh, we would help you out with any social security, disability, survivor benefits, um, planning for retirements, all the rest of it. So we provide services that pretty much nobody else in the country can provide based on our decades of inside experience and expertise. Please check out my video on how to make sure you're receiving all of your social security benefits and make sure your calculations are correct. Again, working for social security for a few decades, 
I know where the mistakes are made, so I've got them listed right there. Please click on that and uh, subscribe, like, and share, and all that kind of good stuff, and have a beautiful day.